Hello and welcome to Science Wednesday with Fiona and Albert. I'm Fiona and this is my assistant Albert and uh, today we're going to do some science and what we're going to do today is we're going to investigate lava lamps and how they work and so what Albert's done is he's made me a list of the scientific processes and then what he's done is he's given me some instructions and he's told me the things that I need. So I need a plastic bottle or a glass jar and then I need some teaspoons and tablespoons and I need some vegetable oil, some water which I've got in my jug, some vinegar which I've got in a bottle over there um, and then I need some food colouring now I've got some liquid food colouring in little bottles, but you might have powdered food colouring. If you've got powdered food colouring, then you'll have to mix it with water before you use it. And then Albert says I'm going to need some fizzing tablets, so I can either use something like Alka-Seltzer, which you might have at home in the uh, first aid box, or I can use vitamin C tablets. Uh, you might have those at home because that might be how you get your extra vitamin C. But I don't need those for my first experiment, so I'm going to just keep those out of the way. And then I need some bicarbonate of soda and some tartaric acid and if I've got some, some glitter. Now Albert said that he thought I should try this first experiment here because it's quite easy and he's given me a scientist journal that I can fill in my um, results and what I did. So what Albert's telling me to do is to get these materials, so glass, vegetable oil, some water, food colouring, table salt and a tablespoon. And so and what he's telling me to do He's telling me to fill a clear glass, about three quarters full of water, add some food colouring, then add some vegetable oil, and then sprinkle some salt on top. Now, before I do it, I wrote in here what I'm going to do, and then I thought, what do I think is going to happen? Now, I know if I mix some orange cordial with water, it's going to mix. So I think the oil and the water will mix and I also think that the salt will sink to the bottom of the glass. So that's what I think will happen. So that's what I call a hypothesis or a prediction. So now we're going to actually do the experiment. So Albert says a clear glass three quarters full of water. Then he says put some food colouring in a few drops. Hopefully you can see that the food colouring's sunk to the bottom and you can see that it is slowly dissolving. Then the next thing Albert says is pour vegetable oil onto the water. So now hopefully you can see that my first prediction wasn't correct because what's happened to the oil Yes, it's sunk to the bottom, but then it's come back up to the top. And when I tried this at home, I thought, I don't understand why that's happening. And Albert gave me some clues. But first, let's do the last bit. Now sprinkle some table salt on top of the water. So that's my table salt. Now I've got it in a pot with some little holes in. 
so it's easy to do the sprinkling. So I've sprinkled the salt on top. Now hopefully you can see that the salt is beginning to sink down. Can you see what's happening as well? When the salt sinks down, it takes a little bit of the oil with it. So the oil is sticking to the salt and then the salt's going down to the bottom with the oil. Now, can you see as well that after a few moments, the oil is coming back up again. It's coming back up in blobs. Now I asked Albert about this and Albert said that the salt is dissolving in the water and then the oil is coming back to the top. And because the oil and the water don't like to mix, the oil wants to get away from the water. Now, Albert gave me a tip then. So this is Albert's first tip. And it says, try using other materials instead of salt. Perhaps sugar or flour. So I had a little thing and I thought, okay, so there's, I've got some sugar there. And then I thought, I wonder, I wonder what will happen if I put some pepper on it? Because pepper also is in tiny little bits. So I've got a pepper grinder here. Now, before I do it, you just have a think. What do you think is going to happen to pepper? So there goes the pepper. See, probably slowly sinking down through the oil, it's having a bit of difficulty getting through, but then it drops down. It's taking longer than the salt, and that's probably because the particles are bigger and they're getting more stuck in the oil. But the two that are at the bottom have stayed there. I wonder if you could think why the oil is not able to escape back to the top. Now I think it might be because pepper won't dissolve in water. So the oil has to stay at the bottom. Now before we go on to the next experiment, I need to just fill in on here. So what did I see? Well, the first thing I saw was that the oil stayed on top of the water and the other thing that happened was that the salt took some oil down to the bottom of the glass. So what happened? What was happening was that the salt trapped the oil, but then the salt dissolved and the oil went back to the top. So that's the first experiment. And I thought, yeah, that's quite good actually. I'm quite impressed with that. But Albert then gave me a second tip. And Albert's second tip says, 
Make your lava lamp more permanent. Follow my instructions to make a lava lamp out of a plastic bottle. So, here's Albert's instructions. And because I'm a good scientist, I've got another journal and I've done the same as last time. I've written in the things I'm going to need so I can make sure I've got them all collected together. Then I've written down what I think is going to happen and then I've written what I'm actually going to do. So these are Albert's instructions. So he says take a plastic bottle and pour 200 mils of water into the bottle. Now, I've got a funnel that I can use to pour my water in. Now, I've got 300 mils of water in here, so I need to leave about 100 in there and then that will give my 200. So that's up to about 100. So Albert then says put 10 drops of food colouring into the bottle. And I think I'll just take the funnel out for a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see, like before, the colouring is beginning to mix in with the water. Albert then says, pour vegetable oil into the bottle until the bottle is almost full. Now this is quite a big bottle. So, and because I want to show you another experiment as well, I might not fill mine right to the top. When you could always use a smaller bottle. I think I'm going to take mine up to that line there. You need to be careful when you're putting the oil in because you don't want to make a mess. I should have said at the start that you ought to really be doing this in the kitchen or somewhere where it's not going to matter if you do spill anything. So, there is my oil and it's doing exactly the same as it did before. It's separating out because the oil and the water don't want to mix. So now I'm going to add a fizzing tablet. Now Albert says break a fizzing tablet in half. I think that's partly so that I've got two chances to see what happens. So there's half of my fizzing tablet. Drop that in. And yeah, it's done what I said, because I said I thought the vegetable oil would float. And I said that I thought the fizzing tablet would sink to the bottom of the bottle. And I thought that it might fizz. Can you see that what's happening is that as the fizzing tablet fizzes, you're getting bubbles that are going up and they are taking a little bit of the water with them and some of the um, food colouring. And then when the fizzing tablet gets to the top, the gas that's in that's in, in there escapes and the water that's been carried up, the water, because it doesn't like to be with the oil, it moves back down again. 
So that's why you're getting this spiraling of the bubbles going up and then coming back down. So I think that's quite exciting. And Albert said to me that if I put another fizzing tablet in the other half, then it will carry on fizzing. So whilst you're watching that, you can listen to me whilst I just write down what I found out. So, what did I see? I saw that the oil floated on the water. The fizzing tablet released a gas and the gas moved to the top of the oil. Now, those of you who watched Albert and me do the erupting lemons might remember that when we did the erupting lemon and we had the lemon and then we put some bicarbonate of soda on, we produced a gas and that gas was carbon dioxide. And that's what's happening here because the fizzing tablet contains an acid and an alkali. And when they're in as the solid fizzing tablet, they're in what we call a stable state. But when we mix it with the water and they dissolve, then they can start to react with each other. And so they make carbon dioxide. So that's the science behind it. And you can see as well that I've drawn a diagram of what I did. And I've drawn it as though it's been sawn in half. Good scientists always do that because then it's easier to see what you've actually done. Now, Albert's got a last third tip for me. And his third tip is try my other lava lamp experiments. Which experiment worked best? So, those are Albert's extra lava lamp experiments. And I think I'm going to try the first one. And it says, use clear vinegar instead of tap water. So I need to get my vinegar. Now you could use malt vinegar, which would be brown you've only got that. I haven't tried using just uh, malt vinegar. I think it might be more difficult to see, but if that's all you've got, then you can do that. So, in goes the vinegar. using orange just so you can see that it will work with different colours and now I'm going to pour in the oil now I think I might have used a little bit too much in the other one so this might not be quite as spectacular there's less oil So, I've got the food. 
teaspoon chlorine, I've got the oil. Albert then says sprinkle on a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Now, vinegar is an acid. Bicarbonate of soda is an alkali. So you have a think, what do you think is going to happen when I put the bicarbonate of soda in? I'm putting it in through a funnel, it's a, a dry funnel, because I think otherwise I might make a mess. So, there goes the bicarbonate of soda. Can you see what's happening? And it looks to me as though the bicarbonate of soda is moving down through the oil and then it's reacting with the vinegar to produce carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide is escaping and it's moving up to the top. It's going to continue for quite a long time until and you could keep adding bicarbonate of soda, perhaps just add a bit more, until all of the vinegar had reacted. Well, I hope you try this at home and you could try Albert's other experiments. So Albert's second experiment is to mix a teaspoon of tartaric acid. You can get that in the supermarket. It's called cream of tartar on, in the supermarket. And so what you would do is you would mix teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda in a little dish. Use a different spoon for the tartaric acid. And then mix them together. And so the bicarbonate of soda and the tartaric acid as a powder, that is the same thing as the vitamin T C tablet or the Alka-Seltzer. It's got the acid and the alkali together. Now, so we don't waste it, we could put it into our original um, lava lamp. So you think, what might happen here? I've got an acid and an alkali mixed together and I'm going to put them into the lava lamp. You can see they are reacting when they get in the water and they're doing what the fizzing tablet did. They're not reacting as quickly as the one with the vinegar because we've got a lot of vinegar in there so it can react quite quickly with all of that bicarbonate of soda. So just before we finish, Albert's given me the actual science behind what's going on. So the science that we've learned today is that oil and water won't mix, they are immiscible, and however much you shake up a mixture of oil and water, 
they'll always form the globule, globules. And I can show you that with this glass here. If I stir it around, it will then separate out and you get all these little uh, globules of oil that are trying to get to the top. So they'll always separate into two layers. And the first experiment, the fizzing tablet, reacts with the water to make carbon dioxide. Because this is a gas, the bubbles are formed and they rise to the surface. And then Albert's um, second experiment, when you use vinegar instead of water, the sodium bicarbonate reacts with the vinegar to make carbon dioxide. And we've just done as well, if you mix tartaric acid and bicarbonate of soda, that's the same as using the fizzing tablet. So I hope you'll try the other experiments here and send us some pictures of um, your lava lamps. And we'll see you next week for some more science.